foundation, this community has done to support them in their development. Evan, James, and Dylan, as you heard from their talks, have gotten a lot out of Scout. And they have appreciated the support of the community and the troop in particular along the way. And they have decided to give something back and now like to make a presentation to the troop. So the SPL and the SPL, please come to receive. And I believe our older Eagle Scout will describe what the gift is. So uh, we wanted to give back to the troop, so we got them uh, 10 by 10 waterproof pop up tent. And I'll cover that on many other by bringing campouts for the traffic of their wheels. And now our scout master Scott Bruce will come up to make some final comments. Good afternoon. We are all here today to recognize these, these three scouts. <clears throat> Dylan, James, and Evan, who have earned Scouting's highest rank, that of Eagle. I wanted to start today by telling everyone here just some of what these three Scouts have accomplished over the last few years. All three of them have gone to a week-long summer camp up in the Adirondacks for three years in a row where they earned different merit badges needed to achieve the Eagle rank. For those who don't know by now what a merit badge is, it's ways for scouts to learn different life skills. These three scouts have learned everything from swimming, first aid and camping, all the way to fun badges like archery, leatherwork, and canoeing. In addition to summer camp, these scouts have done anything from whitewater rafting on the Lehigh River in Pennsylvania, to rock climbing, to hiking, to biking on Cape Cod, and to subway orienteering in New York City, where we teach the boys how to navigate the subway system in a large city. The boys navigate the trains to different parts of the city and then end up at City Field where we get to watch a baseball game. This was definitely one of the fun camp outs that we had. Some of the high adventure activities that these boys have done included uh, Evan, canoeing in the Adirondacks for a week, like he said, and doing the cavalcade at Philmont. And this summer, Dylan and James will be going to Sea Base in Florida, where they, they will learn sailboating and scuba diving. One other camp out all these scouts have gone on is our annual cabin camp out in March, where we work on scout skills with the new scouts who have just joined the troop. Here, these boys start learning how to lead younger scouts. Whether you guys knew this or not, this was a big step towards your Eagle project. To get to the rank of Eagle, each scout has to complete certain requirements. When they have completed all the requirements, the last thing they need to do is their Eagle project. This project is a culmination of everything they have learned in scouts. These projects are designed to help the community and teach the scouts how to be leaders. These three scouts, in my opinion, all did wonderful projects. As was stated earlier, I'm gonna state it again. Dylan helped out at the South Bay Ambulance Association by doing some landscaping, removing large vines from the trees and their property. These vines could potentially destroy the other trees. It took all day to pull the vines out of the trees and clean up the area. And I can tell you that everyone who worked on this project was tired at the end of the day. James helped out the South Bay Parks and Rec Department by building picnic benches for the town pool. There were no benches at the pool for the residents to use. In addition to building the benches, James had us stain them so they would last even longer. We even had some leftover lumber that we used to build smaller tables for the younger kids at the pool. Evan also helped out the South Bay Parks and Rec Department by replacing the seats on the benches at the community house baseball field. The old benches were warped and split and really not good to sit on anymore. He also replaced the seats on the benches in the each dugout and updated the scoreboard. Shortly after we completed the project, I was at the field watching my son play a baseball game 
and heard many people comment how nice the benches were. I, don't, I want to let all three of you know that you did a great job running your projects, making the decisions, and leading everybody who attended it, scouts and adults alike. It is not always easy leading a group of people, but you guys did a great job. I would now like to take the time to quickly thank all the parents of these, email, these Eagle Scouts for all the time and effort that they put in to help run the troop. Without your help, this troop would not be as successful as it is today. Thank you all. In conclusion, I'd like to congratulate Dylan, James, and Evan on job well done. And congratulations to all three of you on becoming Eagle Scouts. Good and gracious God, occasions such as this always draw us to be more deeply aware of your presence with us and your faithfulness to us, the great gifts and blessings of our lives, particularly the people involved in our lives, and the wonder of human potential. All the things we as individuals and as a community are capable of. We give you thanks for whatever has stirred in our heart this morning, for whatever way you have reinforced in us the value of goodness and justice and kindness and hopefulness. Stir in each of us a desire to be the best person that we can be, that person that is your greatest desire for each of us. And together we raise this prayer Amen. Thank you, Father Jeff. We'll now have our closing ceremony. Matt, as the white candle representing purity is extinguished, may we be ever mindful of the obligation that the scout is clean. He's clean in body and thought, and he stands for clean speech, clean sport, and clean habits. He travels with a moral group. As the blue candle, representing loyalty, is extinguished, may we be ever mindful of the obligation that a scout is loyal. He is loyal to all whom loyalty is due. God, his fellow scouts, his leaders, his family, his country. And finally, as the red candle, representing courage and sacrifice, is extinguished, may we be ever mindful of our obligation that a scout is brave, he has the courage to face danger in spite of fear and to stand up for what is right, even if his stand is unpopular. He continues on in the face of setback and disappointment.